what stage of the filmmaking process should filmmakers bring on their marketing team? Is it during the screenwriting process? Is it during pre-production? Or is it best just to wait until you're finally in post-production and then you start thinking about selling the film? Um, you know, which of these time periods best positions the producers to have a film that's going to successfully reach the market? So, as I said, um, that really thinking about who your audience is. And, the, and I think that this is a mis misunderstanding as well, that marketing strategy is different than marketing tactics, like the things that you do in order to market your film. Strategy speaks to who and where. So you don't need a team of people to tell you that. Like you need to be thinking about those two things when you're very early into developing your idea. So there's no need to hire a special person to tell you about that. Um, as I said, if you're thinking about who am I, um, that helps you to narrow down the strategy that you're going to be following. Now, you know, it, you can talk to any manner of marketing people and they will tell you, oh yes, well, you're thinking too, too narrowly, you know, we could expand out bigger, wider, more, more. Sure, you can get unbelievably wider, you know, in any of this, but uh, for in general, the independence that I'm, that I know and uh, talk to you every day, they don't have unlimited resources. They can't go after this wide, broad audience. So they need to think as small and tight because that's what their resources are really going to be best utilized for. Um, I think that it is useful when you get into production and you're gonna be on the set that you are so busy doing the actual production and running a set with all these people who are there for a limited amount of time and being paid for that time that you can't be worried about, did I get all the good photos? You know, did I interview each of the cast and crew because I might want to use those video clips later? Um, have I talked to local people who were, um, you know, to talk about how it was to have a filming in their community or if it's a documentary, you know, there were many experts and maybe we want to go back and interview some of those. That person, that main marketing person is just keeping up with those details. They are not on the set to help with any form of production of the thing. They are only there purely from the marketing standpoint um, and collecting material for that um, and you know hopefully working with a photographer or whoever's taking good stills and guiding them on here's what I need because you don't have time for that um, and then while you go into post that person is sorting through all the assets and figuring out what are we creating with this stuff and how are we going to plan out how it's published you know how often is it published and you should I talked about this uh, in a workshop I did the other day with the Alliance of Women Directors that um, you have a 1 7 30 4 2 1 content strategy which is you have something that you do daily, which is the one. You have something that you do weekly, which is the seven. You have something that you do monthly, which is a big thing, um, but you do consistently that one big thing every month. And then you have something that you do quarterly, biannually, annually, you know? So annually could be like your app. <laughs> if you're making an iPhone app, you're not gonna do that quarterly. You're gonna do that once probably. Um, or that you're making, you know, a new film once a year. I don't know how often, you know, the, your annual big event's going to be. Um, but you, when you're making out your calendar, you say, okay, here are the things I'm gonna do every day. I'm going to have a Facebook post, maybe several. I'm gonna do Twitter, have maybe several post to my social channels. Those are everyday things. And I'm gonna answer comments that come with that or go to blogs and look and see if there's any comments that I can leave that are relevant to what the people have talked about, not just there to drop in and put your URL up. Um, once a week, ideally, you want to have a blog post, something new, um, maybe several times, but it, for most people, they can handle a once a week kind of commitment like that. Um, that once a month you can do some kind of Q&A with either somebody who's attached to the production of your film or who's a participant, especially if it's a documentary participant in the film, um, or, uh, uh, you know, it's just sort of a longer piece than your shorter blog post, so that would be a once a month thing. Or you have a meetup or a tweet up, you know, where you might be in a different city and you talk, or you go and do a Reddit AMA, or you do a Google Hangout or something like that once a month. Um, and then uh, uh, quarterly, it, you know, you're going to do, well, in the monthly thing, you'll probably do email. So in quarterly, you'll do like a roundup of my four best blog posts or the things that people responded to. Something that's sort of 
um, takes the efforts that you've done already and kind of put them in a better context for people um, that you do you know once every couple of months uh, and then uh, and then the meetup situation is, is the same something that you're doing but it's in a bigger venue someplace that you know you're going to be in that quarter that you can meet up with people um, and then you know biannually it's so, some of this is mixed between what you do on the production and what you do as a person as an artist uh, you might do a live event of some sort you know that you're doing twice a year and you invite all your best followers to come to that I mean you you have to kind of think about it but it helps you to space out and um, organize how are how are you spending your time so that it doesn't become overwhelming so then it just falls to the ground you know if you can really space it out and then this person really helps to do that and figure out what are those things that we're going to do in that time frame and things will always pop up that you didn't expect that you can take advantage of but you have sort of a set schedule otherwise that you are following and then when you get into festival premiere that person is um, sourcing a publicist if you want to have an outside person who has a lot more connections than than you have um, you know if you're going to go for a sales agent uh, then you're working with that person at your premiere and hoping to get a sale always have your plan B that the sale is great if it happens but not dead in the water if it doesn't um, you know so within three months if, if you don't think there's, if there's no sales prospect at the place where you've premiered, in th within three months you're going to be launching it. You're going to be launching on your own site if nothing else. Um, or getting it ready for iTunes through an aggregator or getting it for Netflix with an aggregator or, or doing your own theatrical tour and you're going to start booking theaters or using Tug or something like that. So there is a plan which can be scrapped if another opportunity that's better than what you were planning comes along but you're not dead if you if that opportunity doesn't come um, so I think that you it, it, having a team depends on how big of a release you're planning to have but I don't think that you need to bring someone in as a in a full-time capacity or somebody who's totally devoted to this job until you're about in production stage if you have a very clear idea about who you're going after because that person just walking into the set is like okay um, what are we collecting? You know, who 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 is this for? What are we going to be using? I mean, you do have to have a, a marketing plan. You do have to have a budget so you can say, well, I'm not going to have any money to do video cuts later or I won't have any um, really much of a budget to do face Facebook ads or something like that. So we won't be using those. That's not part of our plan because we don't have a budget for that. Um, so you don't have to hire somebody full time to get one of those plans. But you probably do want to have somebody more full-time to help implement those plans.